we're here with Cassie J, the director of Daddy I Do, and Christina Clack, the producer of Daddy I Do. And uh, ladies, this was a family production. Can you tell me your mom was actually the cinematographer? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, the production and what inspired you to do it? Uh, sure. Well, I guess how we got started was I was acting down in LA, and um, I decided to go behind the camera to make films that had messages that I was passionate about. So I told my family I want to make a documentary, and my mom was a photographer, and so we literally just uh, got a camera and she just started shooting the documentary, and she she already could catch on pretty quickly with the composition and all that. And um, so it was her and I traveling the country, and then I brought my sister Christina on as a producer, and she did a lot of the administrative tasks and finding interviews and a lot of the post uh, promoting and yeah, pretty much anything that needed to be done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> outside of what they were already doing. Now, your film got into Idlewild Film Festival, is that right? Tell yeah. us. Yeah, it was, uh, the world premiere was in uh, the Idlewild International Festival of Cinema on January 14th this year, 2010. And uh, we, we won Best Documentary, which was really fun. And the San Diego Indie Fest is its second screening ever, so it was a lot of fun. It, it screened yesterday, uh, the 26th, March 26th at uh, 3 p.m. And we were so blown away with the... Um, the crowd and the responses, and uh, it's just, it is a really good screening. Yeah, and she, we actually knew Steve Savage, Cassie, when she was in her acting career, she had met him a number of years ago, and he really became, you know, a close friend to all of us, and uh, when we found out that he was going to be doing the film festival, you know, instead of chancing at a bigger festival where you don't know what kind of turnout right. you're going to get, we knew if we were a part of that film festival, you know, we would have an automatic full, you know, full house, and we really did, because we had a lot of, uh, you know, people that we could come, have come together for that world premiere, which ended up making it, I think, even more special than, you know, going to some of the bigger ones where, uh, or further away ones where it can be difficult to create that um, scenario. Yeah. And now your sisters and your mom was involved in the project. How is that uh, as a family, working together and also being related and having probably good days and bad days and then having to go and be on the set? <laughs> a lot of butting heads, a lot. Yeah. But uh, Well, fortunately, you know you always have to love each other. I think that's the thing with families. You always... So, divorce your families. So. Right. A lot of, you know, a lot of the... the disagreements or anything like that. There was always a mutual respect and that love for each other there. So uh, really the collaboration, I think, turned it into something more than just if either one of us was working on our own. Yeah, I think it was... Uh, yeah, and we were just really understanding of where each other were coming from and respecting each other. And, and that should be with a, a business partner anyways. You should always respect their opinion and, uh, and just really collaborate with them and, and not just leave in a huff if you get in a fight, which often we wanted to do. Uh, but we, we made it through somehow, and I think we're a lot strong, stronger family because of it. So much closer. That insights on the festival. <laughs> All right, ladies, can you share some insights on the, on the film festival circuit? You know, the, the things sure. that you've learned so far. Oh. Uh, well, I would definitely say I mean, it would seem like a dead statement, but networking is always going to be huge. Um, it really does help with us since we are a family. We can travel together very easily, but we also have the ability to. Uh, jump into conversations to just meet people because that's I think that's the biggest thing you know with these film festivals you never know who you're going to meet uh, and who that person's going to connect you with to the tenth degree. Um, yeah, I think those are the the two things you want to leave a film festival with are the people you meet and any kind of promotion you can get online after that. Like we had a, a great turnout yesterday at the screening, but if no one goes online or becomes a, a Facebook fan or tweets about it or Reviews writes a review it, yeah. or anything, it's like it never happened. People have to continue to talk about it later to have it go anywhere, you know? So that's what we're really trying to get people to do is just rate it online or look for the trailer or tell your friend about it or anything so it keeps on moving forward. Now there's a message with Daddy I Do. 
how are um, people responding to it once they watch the film? What kind of feedback are you getting? Uh, all across the board, I think. What do you think? Yeah, for the most part, I think what we've been really happy with is just uh, the feeling that we have been able to approach a very controversial subject and still be uh, unbiased in our presentation. You know, the two of us definitely have a distinct uh, opinion on the issue, and Cassie I really did uh, find a way of softly putting that in there without um, really having a strong, bold yeah. arm. You know, you're going to think this way in the documentary, which can turn a lot of viewers off. Yeah. yeah, I think that's been the general reaction is it was fair and respectful to both sides. And even though you do point out a, some very controversial issues on both sides, you're, you still do it in a respectful way. And it's not um, uh, demonizing or some people call it like horror adding an in interview where you kind of take clips out of context and make them look a certain way. And it's not truthful to the actual uh, story. So we definitely tried to make it truthful and honest and, and let viewers make their own opinion and not push it on them. And where can people find out more about the film? You can go to jbirdproductions.com and that's J-A-Y-E-B-I-R-D productions.com. And uh, also on Facebook, of course, Daddy I Do, become fan. And yeah, soon to be daddyido.com, but that's not ready yet, but soon.